That's when my computer just begins to die horribly. In which case, let's fucking start playing some Halo Goddamn 3. I don't actually know how this version of the game works, so bear with me for the briefest of moments I try and figure it the fuck out. Because I downloaded this today, and I tried playing the first mission, and then realised that, holy shit, now I'm going to have to like, start from not the first mission. So let's go. Halo 3. Perfect. And no, I don't want to do quick start. I want to put the skulls on. Because I've played through this game way, 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 way too much. So... At the very least, put the skulls on. No one's played this game before. Skulls, basically, they just add unique, weird effects to the game. And I find some of them make the game a bit more fun. This one in particular just makes enemies throw and drop more grenades. And all I'm going to be going for in this playthrough is gun butts and grenades. And then the occasional headshot or power weapon kill. Uh, I'm not going to put any of these other bullshits on. Uh, enemy resistance? Nope. Enemies have increased health? Nope. 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 Acceleration. Yep, that one. And rare combat dialogue. Just because it makes the game altogether a little bit more fun. So I might as well start. How do I choose my mission? There we go. Even though Arrival isn't really a mission, we'll put it on so for anyone who's not played Halo 3, we can all watch. And no, I'm not putting Grunt Birthday Party on because that noise annoys the shit out of me. I'm very sorry. I've heard the little cheer. Use I'll, I'll lose my one hour of unsafe footage of me doing test footage. That'll be horrendous. Oh no. This grunt birthday party is not going on because I don't want to listen to that. Yay! Because I had that, I think, for the many, many hours I spent playing Halo 3. Well, I guess I put the controller down and just drink more while we enjoy this awesome story. For anyone who didn't play Halo 2. Basically, at the end of Halo 2, Master Chief rides a bomb. It's like, you know, onto a Covenant ship and it explodes. And that little thing you see flying through the sky right now, that's Master Chief clutching the wreckage of a Covenant dropship. Just being torn apart by the atmosphere and he's just going to take it because he's a fucking man. I don't really know what else to say about the story mode because I don't think I've watched this cutscene in about 10 years. I don't know when Halo 3 came out. When did... Oh, there's Master Chief. There he is, look. That's him letting go of the wreckage. And he's just going to fly and hit the ground at Mach 3 and be fine. And somehow he's able to control his fall through the air. Like, even though he's falling and he's on fire, he still aims for like the Covenant. Was I wrong? And you've got to respect that, really, haven't you? It's the man falling through the air and he still has like enough about him to control where he's going to land. And he just chooses to land in this like open like grotto of trees. Which I'm presuming is all destroyed because he landed on it. Yeah. This ain't good. You think he could have landed in a more dignified position really, but no, I'm not gonna far. argue with like the saving of humanity. Easy. Stay sharp. Damn. So you think they'd have put him in a more dignified position? I'm not talking about like, the people who found him. I'm talking more about like the modelers for this scene. Because Master, Ch does he look like he was fighting in that scene, or does he look like he just fell screaming? Because like, imagine if like you just people who just tuned in the screen, you just found me and it started out like that. You would not think the most of me, would you? I suppose, like, you could at least put him in, like, a kick, like he was doing a flying kick. Like, he was trying to, like, drop kick the earth to get, like, one last final hit in. But, I don't know, I didn't make Halo 3. Radio for Vuitton. Heavy lift gear. Oh, yeah. You said you want Sergeant here. Johnson. I don't know, yeah. why does Sergeant Johnson's You're face not. look so angular? Like, Sergeant Johnson. His face looks more angular than Master Chief's face. Master Chief's face is a big rectangle. One of these days, you're gonna land on something as stubborn as you are. Also, what's the hat gonna do? That do won't protect him from pieces. headshots. Everyone else is wearing a helmet, and he's wearing a hat. Like, he's supposed to be a higher rank than all these people. Why is he not wearing a helmet? Surely he's the one they're gonna aim for. Don't make a girl a promise. But I don't get it. Like Sergeant Johnson is invincible in this game. She didn't know. Like, there's a mission later oh, in the game where basically quit. he just sorry, cannot sorry. die and you can actually push him Your off the edge of the level and he will come down. back and respawn. Look up here, sir. Three or four times. I'm not putting... Yeah, okay. we go. That's right. I've just blown up like an entire there. Covenant dropship, but yeah, I've, I've got to check that I can look up and down. Thanks, random no name soldier number one. Sergeant Major. Kick off I'm sure your contribution to this, like, to you know, this fight is going to be come out worthwhile. 
here he is. Oh, there he is. So fucking cool. So why is he not the main character? Chief, wait. The armorer's with us. Fuck yeah, Abba. Come on now. What's up, Keith David? How you doing? You, you don't know that's Keith David? Like, if you don't know who Keith David is, he's so like easy. the goddamn fucking president from Rick and Morty. And also, I think he's in The Thing. And they live. And they must love the smell of green. I fucking love Keith David. Because I played as the Arbiter in this game. Because I was always player two when I played through Halo 3. Oh, thanks. What a great load screen. Isn't this supposed to be like the updated version with no load screens? Yeah, it is. It's the Master Chief Collection. You've got this big ass load screen. I think it could have been loading during that video, but. Who am I to judge, Jay? I just want to play some Halo. It's my pass score. Oh, fuck's sake. I forgot it tracks your score in this. So we're going to see how bad I am. I'm gonna see how much I suck ass. Yeah, look at it. My favourite thing about the Arbiter is his tiny little cat feet. Let's watch him walk. Look at it. Look at those little feet. How's he gonna get anywhere with them? Look at that. And now he's running off. So I'm gonna follow the Arbiter for this, because you know what? He's probably better at this than me. Let's have a look. Oh, Arbiter, nice jump. But I've got like an eight foot vertical jump, so fuck you. Ah, but I can't do that. Bravo He's just walking team, everywhere. Can I take any of the guns off these guys? Because I don't like this assault rifle in this game. Right, Abba. I'm with you, man. The Arbiter was me, my player. Because I always play player two. And if you play a two, you are the Arbiter. And the Arbiter starts with a carbine and sticky grenades. So he's, like, objectively better to play with. Because that's a better weapon than, like, this shitty assault rifle which barely does anything. Go on, Abba. I'm on your six. Don't worry. Or well, you can just stand still with your butt plug on your leg. It's fine. Whenever you're ready, mate. Right. I don't want to have to do this. Like, there we go. Ah, thank God. No. Uh, uh, don't be shy. Where are you going? Oh, oh that's it. you got to check. you got to check. You might come up behind us. That's a good idea, that answer. Oh, no. You just jumped down. Oh, ho, ho. I see what you're doing. Just trying to show me some fancy shit. Look at that. Trying to show me his cool. Skills. I still I love his little mantle. So he can jump just as high as me because obviously he's got the exact same skills as the player character. He has got this like eight foot vertical jump. The arbiter could dunk on a motherfucker, but he just can't choose to gently and gingerly climb up the slope. I respect that. Right, no one's going to go in there for this. If I recall correctly, because I played this like ten minutes ago. There he is. Now, realistically, I wish I had like a sticky grenade, but let's go and just punch me in the back of the head. Oh god, oh man, it's been a while. In which case, let's just get a sticky grenade. There we go. Did I get him? No. Best thing about this game, every enemy in the game just dies in one gun butt if you gun butt in the back of the head. I love it. It's my favourite part, even if you're on Legendary, if you walk up and punch that guy in the back of the head. I think this is invisibility. Oh, there's another shield. Oh no, it's just ammo, I guess. Oh shit, oh god, oh god, oh no. Oh. Can you imagine if that's how the story ended? Like the, the legendary Master Chief got killed looking at a glowing square on the ground, being shot in the back. Right, fuck you. I want that. There we go, I'll take that in a sec. Bubble shield. Oh, you got one too? Awesome. This is going to look like a pair of boobs. If I run back, is this a pair of boobs? Yeah, glowing boobs. Or testicles. Whatever floats your boat. Now, where's that thing I dropped? Excuse me. There we go. And that's the reason I put on that skull. Look at all these names. Yes. Look at all these. Yeah. So now I can just do this. Just, I am a one-man artillery barrage. Everyone else can just get fucked. And that's why this game... <laughs> Never not play with skulls on, because why would you play the mode where you can't just endlessly throw glowing grenades that are covered in like white hot plasma that sticks to people's faces? It's fantastic. I'm gonna ask the chat as well, can you hear the actual like game itself? Because some of the dialogue that the grunts say is actually kind of hilarious. And I can't hear it because I've got everything turned down. But I'll play the game enough, but I can adjust that in a sec if people can't hear it good enough. You need to hear some of the dialogue. Because it's actually fantastic. Let's have a look. Will the Arbiter do his mantle? Let's have a look. Go on. Oh, yeah. 
How tall am I? Shit, son. Oh, he was trying to go for a... We all saw it. He was trying to go for the 360 now, Scope. He's one of those guys online. Fuck you. I can't have one of those on my team. I'm sorry. Which one was it? Pretty sure it was Helmet Man. It was two Helmet Mans. So, I'm sorry. I can't have no scopers on my team. I can't have you wasting the sniper ammo. Get back in, you fucking prick. Fucking hell, he's... You know what? Taking three hits from like this guy who can flip a tank, he deserves to live. Let's see what he's got. I could have like silently and like painlessly punched him in the back of the head. But I feel like the rest of the enemies now just know what's going to happen. Oh, hello. Don't run to I love that they do that, but it's also kind of annoying. For some, like, all the enemies are programmed to run towards you when you stick them. Obviously, there's, like, a final, like, chance to kill you. It was worse in Halo 1, when the actual sticky grenade didn't go off for about five seconds. Giving them a full five seconds just combat roll towards you. It's like they just do, like, Dark Souls combat rolls endlessly in your direction until you died. And it was fantastic. Right, make your own, like, you've gone back to... Oh, no! Stop! <laughs> That's why I love this game. No! Stop it. <laughs> you think they'll learn after- No! Go away! Just accept death. Oh, I'm taking this. Yeah, best weapon in the game. I don't care what anyone says. The best weapon in all of Halo, and they've never made it good. I think it was good in Halo 1. It was good when you could dual wield it, but they've never made it as good as I think it can be. Because this thing is the coolest fucking weapon in the game. I could save this guy. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's give it a go. Damn. So I'm not having that. So if I think if I kill myself, I can save him. So I need a grenade. Because I want to save that guy. Because if you save him, he will help you out. And I'm pretty sure if you keep saving soldiers, you can get to the end of the level and have like 20 guys. Oh no. Oh god. I just spawned with that guy dead. So I spawn a failure. Great. You know, the least I can do is like honour his memory by finding the guy who killed him and just like making sure that he goes back to the mothership. Fully disrespected. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can save that guy. I believe you can pick up like um, a carbine or something early in the game. You can just snipe that brute and the guy drops down and he just follows you for the rest of the game. It's not no big deal. But it is fun where you can get like an entire team of just like guys following you around. Can I go through his legs? Wow. I wish I could jump like that. The Jackal should like play the basketball, that's great. Yeah, that's right. That's how he became the Arbiter. These fucking sick combat roles. Go on, Arbiter. Let's just watch the Arbiter. I want to see like how he became the fucking hell. That's I'm about to take the piss out of him. And he's just kicking motherfuckers across the room. Yeah, man. Oh, just leave me to fight this guy. Okay, whatever. I think I got him. Sweet. So I was making fun of the Arbiter then, and then Jesus fucking Christ, he immediately shut me up. But he's still got the teeny tiny cat feet. Look at him. Look at his baby feet. Right, here's another one. Right, let's try this. Pretty sure in this room, like, Cortana talks to me. So there we go, I can check the chat now. Could you sacrifice me to complete your mission? Yep, yep, audio's fine. Perfect. So you get to hear all, like, the awesome things we're going to say. I like how none of them stop. None of them question that like, Master Chief appears to be having like war flashbacks. Probably just assume that I'm just like quiet. Oh, yeah, the battle gun. So you can fight these guys, but something people may know, they may not know, so you can just do this. Mm -hmm. This is real Halo. Was that a fish? Was that just, like slapped in the face by a salmon? Was that a salmon slap? I've never seen a fish in here and I take this way all the way. Time. So I don't remember how you get back up. Oh, here we go. Oh, Johnson just crashed as well. Like Johnson was escaping and now he's dead. But it's okay. Really? Have some grenades. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm just gonna go hide over here. I don't wanna die. I'm too young to die. Oh god. There we go. I'm safe. I'm safe inside that orb. 
This thing was so much cool in the beta. Does anyone remember playing like the Halo 3 beta? When like the bubble shield was like the most godlike thing in the entire game. So you can walk straight through the bubble shield, look. It's like walk in and out of it. That's the whole deal. In the beta, when it exploded basically, it was completely impenetrable from like all kinetic, like I don't get I guess objects in the environment. And you could throw it down and stop vehicles and they just explode into the air at like a hundred miles an hour, it was great. Now they can't do that anymore. And like I remember the first time I played Halo online. And I thought, oh yeah, a water is going to run me over. I'll throw down the bubble shield to stop it. And I just saw it drive straight through the bubble shield and just effortlessly mow me down and shoot me like 100 miles an hour in through the air. Oh, so I'm going to point these boxes out. Because this is the point the designers like basically ran out of ideas. There's a theory in game design known as naught to crate. And basically, it's how long from the start of the game is it take for you to reach a crate? Because that basically represents the time it took for the game designers to run out of ideas for cover and just think, fuck it, to put a big box for you to hide behind. And if you've actually been playing for like seven minutes, so it took seven minutes for them to run out of ideas for interesting stuff in the environment they can use to use to hide behind while being shot at. Which is fun. So I remember watching one of the interviews about this and it was like a great thing. Oh, the art design, like, yeah, we really love the world of Halo, but we fucking hate the playtesters. They keep saying, put more crates in. It's like, we love all this treason bullshit, but what are we supposed to do when we're getting shot at? Put a crate in there. And if I look over there, there should be the weird monkey people up there. If you've not played Halo 3, there's like an Easter egg of just this like a family of monkeys with the faces of the developers somewhere in this forest. But I don't think you see them unless you play it on like heroic or higher. So I know they're there, and I'm not going to be finding them. I'm also going to not be finding the skulls, because I can't be asked because some of them are right bullshit to get. Really? Quite fair play to me for shooting while he's flying. Is he not dying with headshots? Oh, that wasn't a headshot. I'll take that. Give me that gun. No, I'm not swapping it. I've got to keep my battle gun. Best gun in the game. It ruined multiplayer, because everyone uses the battle gun. Also, I've checked. You absolutely can use a grenade to knock Sergeant Johnson off that bridge and stand next to him. And he will continue running and he'll cross the bridge. You can follow him all the way and he will just teleport to being captured. Spoilers, Johnson gets captured. But I've played like two player four and we've repeatedly died in that section and thrown like sticky grenades at Johnson and you can knock him off that bridge and he will continue running even if you're stood next to him here and just stand there and allow himself to be captured. It's hilarious. So obviously when you get this many grenades, like it breaks. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, that's cheap. One of those guys got a headshot as I was falling through the air. I was kind of hoping that grunt. Ooh, might have a chance to do it. So let's try and knock Johnson off that bridge, shall we? Did I get him? Nope. Fuck's sake. So if I die again, I'll try that again and knock him off the edge so he can see it. People might not believe me. Ah, fuck it. You know what? We'll give it a couple of goes. We think it's like we get awesome games done quick. I'll just die. Hello. You. Like a master chief's got enough about him to like swim through the air. He wants to get that distance. If he's gonna die. He's gonna die in an awesome way. Everyone get out of my way. So let's try and time this. Right. So master chief. Ah! Damn it. So I did try, so I'll try and actually play the game properly now. But you can knock him off the edge, obviously with the, uh, the skull that gives you the like, extra powerful explosives. And he will just stand next to you like a fucking lemon and run until he gets captured. I love this gun. This gun's so good. Thank you for my grenades. Oh, that's why I'm fucking getting shot. Really? Oh no, I'm gonna put this then. Let's go get the good gun. Yeah, Arbiter. You show them what for, Arbiter. I know he's supposed to be a team. Oh, Kim just takes it. Yeah, go on, do it. Ugh. Fuck him up, Arbiter. Whoa. Top 10. Oh no! But it's okay, because now I get sword. No, fuck's sake! 
There was a plan. You saw the the the, the Covenant had a plan. They took out the Arbiter and they took out me. But at least now we get another chance to like knock Sergeant Johnson back down in. There he is. No. Come on, one more, one more. Damn it! You coward, Sergeant Johnson. If you're strong enough to take a bullet, like how does he not see where that came from and think, you know what? I'll run. And I'll go towards Master Chief, the unkillable God King who can respawn. Wow. I made a mistake by putting on like infinite grains. And that's the empty bit. Fuck's sake. It's just not going well for me today, is it? The one day that I decided to like, play some Halo 3 is the day I stream it. Sergeant Johnson, join me. Did I do it? No! No! Fuck you, Sergeant Johnson. I know you can see me. I know you can see me. Go away. Stop that. That's not very nice. Find Johnson. I've just found Johnson. I saw him running away like a coward. Because I oh, go on, Abbott. Take it. You. Like, Arbiter only does that when he's like on low health. Basically, when his shield gets stripped off, he just whips out that plasma sword. And he'll run until he gets killed. But if I pick it up, it only has ever, ever has one bullet left in it. Or one swing, I should say. But you can absolutely kill him and take that off him. But it only ever has one like swing. But it's useful for like fighting proof chieftains and stuff. Just kill the Arbiter, take his sword, let him respawn, and kill the proof chieftain with his thing. Go away. Where am I getting shot from? I hate you. Go away. You cheeky fucker. I saw him do that. I saw him aim that like an absolute motherfucker. No. It's really good when bullets help. Let's go get the secret weapon. Like the worst hidden secret weapon in the game. The first. No. Oh, he's back! Oh, it's nice for you to just like, you know, wake up when all the enemies are dead. Prick. Really? So... Yeah, just a big old sniper rifle around here. The reason I'm picking that, I'm not good with a sniper. I was never like, you know, quick scope champion. But I'm keeping it for one specific reason. And I'll explain why in a second. Please stop throwing grenades at me. I really don't appreciate these like hundreds of grenades. I know I asked you to throw all the grenades, but come on, calm me down. That's how you do it, Arbiter. Like, don't just stand still with your like, you know unlimited action sword that can cut through anything. Just let me take care of it, yeah? Oh, shh. I'd feel bad for him, but at the same time, he was probably the guy throwing endless grenades at me. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? It's the embarrassing part where I get lost. Oh, thanks, Arbiter. Be careful, stop our alliance. Okay. So we have to make sure, you know. Okay, so if I can get this right, I should be able to basically blow the head off the brute chieftain who has now captured Sergeant Johnson. No, for fuck's sake. Right, so if I skip this, fuck that, I can shoot this. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Basically, you can kill that brute chieftain during the cutscene and blow his fucking head off, and Sergeant Johnson will willingly put himself in the cage. Fuck's sake, stop shooting at me. Come on. God, I can quick, I can quick scope it. I can quick scope it. Damn it! But as you can see, I'm doing damage to him during the cutscene. And you can do that, and if you kill that brute chieftain, Sergeant Johnson will give up of his own accord and just go lock himself in the cage and pretend that he was captured even though I watched him through the scope of my rifle sheepishly walk off and like let himself like to be captured so I can kill everything and then he can pretend that he would have killed everyone he got there like, he's that dude who's like mate I'm glad you were holding me back if you're not holding me back I'll like fuck that guy up it's like yeah 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 right mate I, I saw you like walking I sniped the brute chieftain standing just oh no 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 you did not see like you know all the, the ways I was trapped it's like so you look like pretty okay to me. No, no, you didn't see. You put me in, like the shackles. 
I didn't see any shackles on my end. It's like, oh, but you were looking through a scope. They don't show up through, like, you know, human scopes. What about when I looked at you through, like, you know, the Covenant, like, rifle that I had in my hands? So I won't show up on that either. It's a brute weapon. Bye, I guess. Can I get shot by? I've got no armor, so I'm going to walk. Let's walk and talk. Oh, yeah, let's sneak underneath. There's my beer. The greenish tinge. I thought that was just a green tinge, so I was like contemplating committing suicide. I was going to jump off the edge so I had more ammo. And I thought that was like God telling me, like, no, you've got so much more to live for, Master Chief. There's fucking up, and then there's fucking up so hard you accidentally kill yourself and like two other people. Well done. Oh, no, flip yet. Oh, hide inside the box. Jeez, stop that. Was that a grunt holding a hammer, or was that the brute chieftain? Oh shit. I want that. I want that thing, I want it really bad. Please stop throwing grenades at me. Like, oh my, please stop throwing grenades at me. No. No. No, I've got this, I've got this. Come on. Come on, you wanna go? No. <laughs> I had it. I had it. He doesn't even know, look at him, he's squaring up, he wants some. You know what, I'm gonna fuck that guy up with one, I'm gonna beat him up with my bare hands. Do this. So there should be a grunt here. Come on. Show him what you've got. So they don't actually know I'm here, so I should be able to like gun butt him in the back of the head. Oh! Oh! I hope he gets a promotion for that. Uh, he should be like, what's above brute chieftain? Is it like brute god? Like, does he just become the leader? Is he become the president? Is he brute president now? Is he President Brute? Does he get to wear like a big suit and tie? It's okay, the Brute Chief. Go away. Go away. Do you really need to tell them to use their grenades? Okay, so where is this guy? Where the fuck's the Brute Chief? I know you're in here somewhere. Why? How? It may have been a mistake to put on infinite grenades for everybody, but it's more fun. For me at least, maybe not for you guys. Maybe that's because I've got no gun except the worst gun in the game. But you know what? You all live, you live by mistakes. Oh dearie me. I'm just going to go hide here and let them just come to me. Let's play a bit more conservatively. Like, you know, the real Master Chief. He doesn't run in there and get his shit pushed in. Yes. Remember that. Because that must look ridiculous to them. Like, a guy walked out, took about 16 bullets to the head, punched one of their teammates 30 feet in the air, then casually walked back into a room that they don't know where it leads. Come on, who else wants some? Come on. One, two. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Do the old rope dough, the old one two. Who else wants some? You. Give the old one two. Oh, the Abbot's here. Hey. Oh, that casual, that casual side step. Oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this the old rope dough, the one two. I like how Master Chief keeps dropping his sniper rifle and there's no ammo inside of it but he still drops it, he's still carrying it he carries the sniper rifle, he's, like, he lives with the hope that one day he will find ammunition so he can miss three snipe headshots in a row wow <laughs> I'm not even, <laughs> that's definitely a drink wait I'm drinking when I die that's why I didn't put it on heroic or legendary, I don't know if that came across <laughs> That's why it's on like more grenade. I feel like it's more fair to put give the enemy a chance in the fact they basically have infinity grenades. Will give me a chance in the fact I can kill most weak enemies with like a one gun butt. So I feel like that's fair because I'm gonna die a lot in this. Because I, one, I only like half remember the game. And two, it is fucking difficult when all the enemies have like infinite grenades and shit. This is like this is an absolute nightmare. I'm having a fucking mare here. Go away. Yes! Fucking yeah. Who wants some? Get fucked. Yeah. 
Get fucked. Ugh, you dildo. Oh, you go. That's right, you finally trapped me down. Fuck you want some. Yeah, Master Chief's back. This is why you write songs about this person. This is why I am the god of the religions that you have. This is why in your non-denominational, like, Covenant Christmas stories, I'm still there. Ugh. Hey, Sergeant Johnson. Oh, it's nice to you lock yourself in there, right? Fuck you. You are going off the edge. As soon as we get outside, you are going off the edge. I saw you. Yes. I love enemy pathing. I love the idea that, that to his like AI was the most efficient route to get a needler. Like, you are going straight off that edge, Sergeant Johnson. I don't care. <laughs> Bye, Sergeant Johnson. I hope you do okay. Don't worry, he'll be back in the sequel. Oh, you know who needs to go off the edge as well? I think the Arbiter needs to go for a swim. Come on, Arby. The Arbiter needs to go for a goddamn swim, so I need to save some ammo in this. Give me a gun. Give me any gun. Right, Arbiter, do you want to go for a swim? Because you're going for one. Whether you like it or not, it's happening. Oh, that is me. Oh, the last thing you thought. Oh. He's back. I told you we're back. He's a really strong swimmer, is Sergeant Johnson. Oh, and I died. How did he survive falling 300 foot into a raging ravine, but I died from a single bullet? <laughs> if you look, though, the pellet, like, that thing's still shooting at him, which means that he was alive for about a solid two seconds. I'm now playing Halo 3 now, and I've done this mission. You might put all the grenades on, mate, and play while drinking. Johnson, you're going in the drink. I don't care what you're saying. You're going in. That's where you live now. Arbiter, you too. Goodbye, Keith David. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Oh. It's okay, don't worry. They'll be back in the sequel. I said that first before, but apparently there's new people watching and they get to hear the joke again. I can use something that's not a plasma pistol. Oh, Sergeant Johnson, you're back. Can I have that thing? Or can you at least like fire it at the things that are trying to kill us? That'd be like that'd be fantastic. Oh, the Arbiter, he's back too. Look alive. Yeah, look alive while these two just stand behind cover, trying to shoot a vehicle with a needler. Yeah, good luck with that. Focus. I'll just continue to like fight, you know. Actually, kill the enemy. Yeah, the Pelican. I've got one shot left. So, Johnson can go back in the drink one more time. He can go for a swim. Yeah, the Pelican. Alright, so who needs to go in? Oh, yeah. How did you get back out? Come on, you know you know where you're going. You know where you're going, Arbiter. Come on. Oh, I can't roll. Right, let's try this. For no other reason than I can. I need a grenade. There's one. So people might know you can do this. I find it quite hilarious. Every time you do that, it moves slightly to the like the left, and you can move it enough to the left where you can just jump on top of it. It serves no purpose other than you can have a look inside, and you can see that there actually is a person piloting it, which you can't normally see unless you got like, a sniper up and all the way over there. But if you just throw grenades, like if you want to play this game on your own, just keep throwing them into that this part. It'll nudge all the way over. You can jump on the wing, walk down, and see what's going on. Let's get in there. Am I allowed in? Thank you. Sergeant Johnson doesn't care that I killed like the three people that are already in there. Also, you can pile like a bunch of bullshit up on top of the pelican. Because it's like using in-game assets, all those things will just immediately fly into the atmosphere the second you watch that cutscene. 
because they react with it moving. IFF confirmed. Contact is Pelican dropship, Kilo 23, over. Roger that. Support, Kilo 23. Zero, one, Look at that JPEG. Using his spunk rifle. I call it like, sorry, the rocket launcher, the word spunk around the side, and it's hilarious. So we call it a spunk rifle. Don't know why I'm saying we, I do. I'm not sure if anyone else does. Let's do this. Let's see what my score is, because that was awful. Keith David is a minor deity. What do you mean a minor deity? Is there such a thing as a major deity, or is it just becomes like an actual deity? Because I believe there's like some it worships some sort of god in some parts of like Eastern Europe. It's all to do with the voice, man. Like you've got to respect that voice. Sorry for the tight squeeze. Tell the commander her ace is in the hole. I forgot we're watching cutscenes. I just got to sit still. Man. I forgot how bad these cutscenes are. It's like ten seconds long. Check it out. No way. A Spartan? For real? You better not be. Oh man, he's here. Character model. Where did you awful. find him? You can tell the people who aren't main characters, can't you? You look at them, it's like, man, that guy's just got a poly on face. Likewise, ma'am. Also, Let's I crush her. Why did she shake Arbiter's hand? I'm not happy with this, like, you know, this idea of not shaking the Arbiter's hand. What was left of the home fleet. Why did they not salute the Arbiter? From the subsequent bombardment what is this deal with no one, like, showing respect to the Arbiter? Truth could have landed anywhere, but he committed all his forces here. If I was the Arbiter right now, I'd be completely invisible the entire time. Then they started Just everyone thought there was a ghost knocking about. What about Halo? We stopped it, but so they stopped again. They stopped saluting when the Arbiter walked past. Isn't he the leader of the Covenant? Surely he deserves as much respect. Also, fair play to the Arbiter for conquering stairs. I do not think he'd be able to do that. Every sentient being in the galaxy. The rings will kill. Blah 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 blah. blah. I have Lord Hood. Everyone will die if you don't stop the Master Chief. Good as it gets, sir. So I see. What's fucking new? What's your status, son? Green. Sir. Glad to hear it. Commander's come up with a good plan. But without you, I wasn't sure we could pull it off. Is this plan this shoot everything until it dies? Site. I'm going it's to guess it shoots everything until it dies. Because I often shoot perimeter. things until they die. But if we neutralize one of the batteries, punch a hole in Truth's defenses. I'll initiate a low-level strike. Hit him right where it hurts. Okay. I only have a handful of ships, Master Chief. It's a big risk. But I'm confident Damn, in you. Not again. Emergency generators, now! Shielding failed. They're down and charging. As soon as they're up, re-establish contact with Lord Hood. Let him know... Oh, yeah, now we get to talk to a real person. Cowering in the dirt, thinking... What? Fuck yeah. I wonder, These guys are awesome, I want that hat. The coming fire? Like, you get this guy's brother or some shit in Halo Wars and he's the best character in it because he comes down his little pimp throne, he flies around, he fires a giant laser from space. It's fantastic. Halo Wars is great, go play Halo Wars. Go for a leader rush and play as the, like, the prophet and call down the Spartan lasers it's like laser your entire teammate, it's great. So that was the best thing, if people don't know, go play Halo Wars because in that game they didn't take off friendly fire. So what you could do is you could just airstrike your own teammate's base and quit. I did that a lot. Usually when I was playing with my friends, it was funny. So you play three player, and then you get to that one friend that you don't like. And when you both airstrike his base and quit. I was an asshole when I played this game, I'm sorry. Fuck this, I don't listen to this conversation anymore. Might as well show people this. Someone might complain if they don't see me go get it, thinking he doesn't know where it is, does it? Squawking. There's the skull. Wait, Overwatch has contacts. Phantoms closing on our And it's the only time you can ever have it when you don't have a gun. So if you drop the skull, you immediately pick it back up. So you can see him like just dropping it there and immediately picking it back up. If like the arbiter or we had a player two, they'd watch me doing that and they'd see me like basically basketballing it off the floor, so you can play basketball with the skull. It's kinda cool. Come on, sir, I'll show you the way. Yeah, give me that gun. Give me your gun. Oh, okay, I'll take this one. I'll take two of them actually, and I'll pick up one. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't. I tried to gunbutt that guy, and then he immediately just died? Did he gunbutt me back? Did he bounce into the wall? I don't know what happened there. If you do, let me know. 
I just gunboard him, and then I immediately just got blown the fuck back. Why is that guy not in charge? Why are they sending me when they've got a guy who can pimp slap that hard? Yes, don't worry, I'm getting that. So you can find my favourite guy while I'm doing this. So I'm hoping they remade this exactly as it was. I can show you the really stupid thing that's in this level. Not the guy who basically just climbs all the way back up. First things first. Might be the wrong way. I was. Because I'm a silly billy. What a silly sausage I am. You cannot save that. I have tried so many times to save that, including running in front of the grenade to take it myself. You cannot save that warthog. I think it's just programmed to die, which is a shame. I'd love to have a warthog in this section, but no. You don't get one till later. But I have tried many, many times just jumping in front of the grenades, throwing grenades of my own, trying to bounce it back so they don't hit it. It just always seems to die. No, I'm not dying. I don't want to drink anymore. I've only got ten beers. So after this beer and the other eight beers, I've only got three beers left. And that's not like that. I'm not fucking having that. Take a fly. I show people the other bonus that I might get yelled at for not showing off. So it should be down here. <laughs> there we go. Look, it's Rooster Teeth. They used to make vi gaming videos before they started sucking ass. Well, you could be held prisoner by brutes. If I was held prisoner by brutes and knew the password, then the brutes could just force me to tell you the password and you'd open the door for them. And it goes on and on and on and on and on for several minutes. And it also changes depending on, like, you know, who's, like, what difficulty you're on. It's nice to acknowledge the fans. It'd be good if more games did that. I just don't think it aged very well. It's like, who the fuck are these chuckle fucks? Oh, that's Rooster Teeth. Oh. Oh. If like, if like a video game nowadays, like, oh, these guys, this is Smosh. Oh. Okay. Okay, here's my guy. You ready? Uh, fucking that, mate. Fuck you. Get down this hole. Get down this goddamn hole. He's going down there. There's a reason for this. It's not just like there we go. So remember where that guy went, and look at what's all down here. Look at all this bullshit. He's in there somewhere. Just keep that in mind for the next five or so minutes while I try not to die while I'm going through this section. Wipe those bastards off the deck. No, it's fine. You can do it. I'm going to go upstairs and get all the cool shit. I'm going to go upstairs and get all the power weapons. Where you are? Where is it? It's supposed to be a fucking rocket launcher. Damn it! They've took it off. Bastards. Oh, there we go. I'll use this. Now I'll wait. Go on, Master Chief. Shows you me more skills. That's a really, that's a really good place to hide that, mate. I can see why you've got, like, you know, you've earned your stripes. So it's no fucking wonder, like, Master Chief, we've only got a few ships left. Like, this is the level of, like, self-preservation your soldiers display just standing while taking like giant man-sized plasma bolts to the face so it's no fucking wonder these guys are losing like the covenant should win so at least they hide behind at least they dodge when i throw a grenade at them like, my team won't that's like, just standing in the open this giant ship flying ass sized fucking blast bolts right up your anus Um, I should probably not stand next to the explosive thing. Probably not the best idea, is it? Oh, oh god, are you okay? I don't think he's gonna survive. Yes, we've got them on the run. You've got them on the run, soldier. Oh. Okay. Think that's everybody? Sweet. So let's go back. So do you remember our friend? Like the guy we thought was dead who I pushed down the giant meat grinder. Let's see how he's doing. So I get to go back now. <gasps> he's back! He's back! He crawled back up! He made it! He's probably like seeking medical assistance right now. He's probably asking for help. Every time. Don't ask how I found that out. <laughs> that was a very, very like 
lackadaisical playthrough. You know what? Let's just gumball everybody down there and see if they come back. And they all do. It's great. Something's supposed to be happening. Oh, these guys are with me. Let's go. We'll go back to the op center. Look at that. One mission in. I'm already backtracking. You can tell May Cry's ain't got shit on this. It's time to fight the worst enemy in the game. Also known as those weird, stupid bug things that everybody hates. Get fucked. The flood. I didn't mean to do that. I'm walking in a straight line. Don't worry. I I do have the like you know the capability to walk in a straight line. No. Oh no, Joey! Joey! Don't worry, I'll shoot you. That's the scene from like Starship Troopers, there, isn't it? It's like no, Captain. So I'm just not going anywhere, man. These plasma pistols. <laughs> yeah, go out there and fight that. It's like no thanks. I just let my I let the cannon fodder do it. Joey, no! Again, you can actually save that guy if you shoot the thing that's shooting him, but no one seems to care if you shoot your own men in this game. As long as you only shoot a handful of them. It's like, you can, like, piss off your teens to the point where they will start shooting at you. You think you've got to kill, like, a certain amount in a certain time frame. And at that point, you don't get a checkpoint, and you can't get certain event triggers, and every enemy in the game will, like, shoot at you, including... And then your own team becomes enemies as well but you can just like just randomly just shoot your own teammates and no one seems to give a shit like just then when I shot Joey yeah. so I was making fun of my team for having no self preservation but yeah that's it throw the grenades instead of just like you know effortlessly getting like headshots on them from a mile away like I'm doing I think he wants to make peace oh no it doesn't so I, I thought I'd like, you know, make contact with an alien species then, but no, just like slam a giant 400 pound like, iron door in its face. That's cool too. Remember when they said like, we haven't got much equipment left and like, we've only got a few ships and this like the last, this attack we're going to do is like our last stand against the Covenant. They're now going to blow the fuck up out of this base, their la one of their last remaining strongholds, with a giant ass bomb, because they got attacked by a light infantry force that I fought off with a single gun in about 30 seconds. No wonder the humans are losing this war. Their immediate reaction to a minor invasion by a small platoon of enemies is to immediately just self-destruct their own base and run away. I'm going to get another beer because I'm out and I'm going to die a lot in this next section. So just enjoy. I don't know what I'm going to look at. Let's watch this guy fix the bomb. The bomb that's going to go off in about 30 seconds and kill him. Yeah. That went in the bin. And that's where the cut will go when it goes on YouTube. Several what everyone's saying then. Do you want Africa played at your funeral? Yes. But I'm not going to die, so that's not going to be an issue. Um, yeah, keep David in mind, Daity. They're probably terrified of the Arbiter. I'd be terrified of like an eight foot tall giant ass monster, but at the same time, he's on our side, so you kind of got to respect that. And it says that as well. I'm a seven foot tall armor clad deity who randomly kills members of his own team. It's like, that guy is not going to fucking make. Look how close he is in proximity to the bomb. And nobody's helping him. <laughs> like, they even put a computer in front of him. They're making him do work. How fucking bad is the healthcare plan of the UNSC, man? Jesus fucking... Look at him. He's writhing around in agony on the floor with a head wound and both of his arms in casts. And they think, you know what? Here's a fucking computer. Do some fucking work while you're at it. Now nah, I'm, I'm not having this. Mate, you need a break. Uh, you need to get a better healthcare plan. At the very least, some of these, like, Mark IV armor. Because holy shit, you're having a bad day. Oh. Oh, he's okay. He's fine. I did that so I could get the shotgun. Thanks, Sergeant Johnson. It's nice to get to that power now. 
Told you, why not just send Sergeant Johnson to do everything? You just saw him there take like a full on like assault rifle to the face. What a hero. And if you wonder why I went to get more beer, this is why. This is like the first time the game's based like your form hole belongs to the game. It's the first time they say like this is why brutes are now the primary enemy instead of like the elites. Ooh, that's a drink. And they just throw grenades at my face. Fucking go, you stupid. Come on. Who wants some? Yes. Give me that. Why am I blind? Why am I blind? I'm really sorry anyone who's watching this on a mobile phone in bed. <laughs> your eyeballs, your retinas now belong to Halo. No. Oh, what? No! Why did a grenade bounce off Brute Chief? That's not fair. I want his armor. I want his armor where fucking grenade bounce off it. Slay, mate. I just don't want to fight you. Give me that. I'm blind again. This is not fair. I just want to kill him, it's just me and the Brute Chieftain. Between, this is between me and your boss. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess it was. And I guess he ended that. I thought he was going to teabag. Muscle memory. <laughs> Muscle memory from <laughs> all the online games of Halo I play made me think that Brute Chieftain was going to teabag the fuck out of me. Okay, let's try instead of throwing a grenade. I'm blind. It's okay. Who's coming? Yeah, you want some. That's oh my. You're not seeing what I'm throwing there? Spike grenades, which are basically sticky grenades, but like the brute version, and they fire like thousands of like searing hot nails in a single direction. And I stuck that to the inside of that brute's thigh. So basically I just threw like a nail bomb directly into his penis. Ooh. Come on. There we go. And again. I'll just take this. I'll kill this one brew. Which is me and the chief down. Now let's go. You can fuck off, mate. Who's left? As if he's on there. Prick. I know, I'm not allowed. Please stop. I'd rather you didn't. I want to fight. I need to kill that one, and then we can have a fair fight. How does that sound? Does that sound cool? But you stop hitting me with the giant one-hit kill weapon, and I'll kill this guy. Here we go. I right, know we can have a fair fight. Fucking prick! Damn it! I hate this game, but I love it. It hurts me so bad. Why? Why? No, dear God. I don't deserve this. What did I ever do to your, like, to you to deserve this, other than like try and genocide your entire race? So I'm not a bad guy for that. I should have thought this first. Fuck that. I think I killed everyone, so now we can have a fair fight with this brute chieftain. Let's go. Unless I killed him by accident. Maybe I did. I think maybe I killed him by accident. Did. I think I think I killed him. I think I just killed him by randomly firing like a machine gun at him. So I've le lesson learned: brutes don't like being shot by machine guns. Where's his, where's his hammer gone? I want the hammer. I want to bring the hammer down. There he is. <laughs> ah, he died the way he lived. Screaming about something that he didn't understand. It's okay. I get the Viking funeral. There we go. I'm sure when like they dig up the rubble of this place in like a couple of centuries, they'll say this guy must have put up an awesome fight. This guy's dick must have been huge. What was he doing? Ooh. 
really. Okay, so... No, it's not down here. There's another skull, I think, at the end of this thing. Thank Cortana. Really great. So I believe that you can stand in front of these tunnels and the things that are going between them will just get stuck. So let's try that now. Yeah. Like, ordinarily, they're supposed to, like, just keep going between them. Is the idea this is how they travel around. But you can just stand in front of them and they'll just, like, get stuck and attack you. And as you can see, that didn't go well. That was not a good idea on my part. Go away. Let's have a good look at one of these guys. So, how did that thing team up with the giant ape creature? Let's see if I can do this then. There we go. And another skull. Yay, I found it. So it's where you find the skulls. But because like this version of the game, you start with all of them, it doesn't really matter. But at least you can see that I've never done this game before, so I'm getting all the achievements for it. It's probably turn off achievements, that might be a bad idea. Let's fuck this guy. Oh, you can't save that guy either, I've tried. I tried like using the uh, explosion of this. You can save this guy. That guy's gonna tell stories about the time Master Chief just walked in and blew everyone up. Oh, it's nice you join me, Avatar. I'm in. So we just need the hacker voice, just I'm in. Oh, that's it, shield your face. Put the thing that's got the grenade on it next to your face. Oh, I'll take that. Hell yeah. Thanks, Power Drain. Basically, powder just strips all your shield away. On brutes, it just makes all that armor the wearing fall off, which makes them turn naked. I want that in real life. I just want an orb I can throw into people's clothes fall off. Because that shit be hilarious. It's like when I'm queuing at the bank, that's the best way to end that. No. He's guaranteed to die. It's okay, I'll save you. Oh my god. Did we just combo that guy? Did I hit that guy with the hammer into the arms of that brute? if I did, I don't even feel bad that he's dead. Because that shit was awesome. He gets to get that written on his tombstone now. That guy's a fucking hero. Please stop throwing grenades at me. Get into those barrels. You get inside those barrels. Imagine how much this hurts. I'm hitting them with enough force of the blunt end to hit to kill them. So, I mean, yes, that was necessary. Oh, what a dodge. Really? That was my own teammate. That was my own fucking teammate. This is why you don't let your own teammate live. You know what, I'm not going to save him this time. This time the grenade's going to hit him. Well, it will. He still fucking took it, you know what? Oh no! That guy's just getting killed anyway. I thought I like DHC comboed that guy into the other brute. And that's much less cool that he just happens to be killing another one of your guys at the exact same time. Oh god, Master Chief now. I'm going to be very drunk by the end of this. I can't wait. <laughs> He's not even... He's just comedic. Oh, fine. Asshole. He was my friend. Kind of. He owed me $20. That means we had some sort of established relationship. Don't kill people's friends. I say as I'm going around like sending searing hot bolts of lead directly into the groins of your compatriots. I must have got some parkour skills. Okay, let's see if I can throw a good name. Let's see if I throw this down. Oh. Timing. 
Oh, I killed myself with a grenade. Fuck's sake. And then someone throws a grenade at my penis. Great. Don't worry, mate. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. There we go. Yeah, you will run away. You'll run away from the guy who's got more weaponry than you. Another guy hiding. Here! Those online tactics, baby. Online tactics. What are you doing? Fuck! <laughs> Just punch that barrel out of her! Yeah, you show it who's fucking boss. Dual wielding those plasma rifles. Yeah, let's fucking go. I'm pumped up now seeing that. I'm gonna punch a barrel. Yeah, energy drain. Fight without energy, assholes. What do you do now? Nothing, that's what. My fucking disco ball of doom just up in your assholes. No more brutes, no more brutes, no more brutes. Oh, that's where those guys came from. Sweet, let's roll. Let's go, Mr. Radio Man. Play some, like, sick ass beats. Or just let me get hit by a big barrel. Oh, I've got a brute chieftain now. Everyone else can fight that guy. Fuck this. I've done enough. Get back in the fight. There you go. Do you have a shotgun? There we go. So where's the brute chief? Then? There we go. Stop. Is no one going to move forward? Okay, it's just me then, I guess. Like, feel free to like, help me at any time, guys. Yeah, any time. Yeah, what survivors? Right, let's just give them all the good guns. Yes, go. If you didn't know, you can give like um, your teammates any gun you want. I do not recommend giving them rocket launchers, as hilarious as it is. Even though any gun you give them has infinite ammo, do not give them rocket launchers because they will just fire them directly at their own feet. Well, they have very little desire to try and stay alive. So even though I'm supposed to be taking the survivors up to the next level, I can, if I want, push them all out and then just go up on my own and leave them down here to die. Which I'm going to try to do now. Mostly because it's funny. So, I'll take that. Uh, yeah, you can have the, gun, the alien gun you've never seen before. So, if I throw this grenade, we should all... Well, I got some of them out. Oh, the Abbot! <laughs> See you all there, mate! We'll get the drinks in! You come up, you join us later, yeah? I know the, the bouncer says you can't come in, but we're going to get drinks and you come in later, yeah? Great. He'll, he'll come back later. Oh, Abbot, uh, you're such a card. Guess it's just me and you, man. Me and, oh, oh, he's back! He got in! Nice one! You guys slit the bounce to a tenor. You slit him, him a tenor, didn't you? Back? You slit him a tenor. He's not going to talk about it. You want to like, look, stand, stand by the bar looking cool. I get it, I get it. That's great. I'd do the same thing. Oh, nice jetpack, man. He's doing really well. I'm just going to wait here. Right, the Arbiter can fuck all these guys up, but... We're just going to wait here and you'll see why in a second. So I want to take just a sip of a drink. There are some brutes behind this door. And they will, this door will open when a spike specific amount of brutes down there have been killed. The thing is, the brutes behind this door aren't programmed to attack until they step over this threshold. So if I stand in the door when it opens, they will not attack me and just let me just punch them in the face until they die. Five. Sorry about that. So I just wait here with my big ass shotgun. I'm hoping the Arbiter 
fuck's sake, Argo, can I? Can you not do anything by yourself? Like you're just obviously sucking an absolute huge... Oh, damn it! You made me lose my point. Oh, here we go. There's still one in here. Just to prove that I'm not lying. So you stand there. Now this guy will not attack me until he leaves the room. Oh, we can just stand it. We can just be bros. Oh, no. No, don't! And now he's become hostile. Now he knows. He betrayed me. Like, we were the friends you're making, like, nightclub toilets. And then we went outside, and then he saw that I was trying to get a drink. He was not having none of that. I'm liking his nightclub analogy. It's good one. Get off there, you prick. I'm trying to look the coolest here. What a throw. Too bad. You had this, that giant thing shoved right in your anus. I have to go this way. Drones, go! I'll cover you. Yes, I'm sure you'll cover them. Okay. There was two. I'd like to point out there were two. There were two enemies, and Johnson's like, "I'll cover you." If there's any, I remember dies in a single round or a single volley of fire from any of the guns that the UNSC has. So the best bit about the fact I've got to go back to the op centre is? Guess who we bump into on the way there. You're not going to believe this. But it's our friend. Hi. I'm new here. It's like, what it's saying, like, you know. Hello to everybody. My name's my Mr. Chief. Hoping you guys like, you know, like anime, playing Halo 3, opening fire this giant ass plasma cannon. You know, the usual. Just go after the public. Oh, okay. Just run away and throw grenades at me. What did? What went through his head as he saw that? Now you got told that this plasma cannon is like the best weapon we have. It's so powerful. You have to attach it to this like special like holder. And he opens fire on this, like, legendary person he's only heard about in, like, nightmares. And I walk through the volley of fire and punch him in the head and kill him. Well, that's just not, like... You just don't want that in your life, do you? Oh, no. And now he's dead. And I get to be alive. Ugh, let's blow this barrel. This barrel's coming with me. Fuck this. Let's go, barrel. I can do this. Let's go, Barrel. This Barrel is now my new friend. What did that? Jeez. Come on. We go, we're go. we going to the end of the game now. This Barrel is now my one thing to get to the end. Unless I see a, a bigger Barrel. That's like the same size Barrel. Am I supposed to go somewhere else? Fuck's sake, I've gone the wrong way. Bollocks, I'm not taking that Barrel. I'll find a new Barrel on the way there. I went the absolute complete wrong direction. Wait, what? Oh, I have to shoot the guys there and then go through this door. I thought this is like, I could have sworn this is the way I came in. We have taken their command center. Oh, you have up here. We you took, we've taken the command center. It's gone really well. The first thing that happened is like, someone immediately walked in and shot us all. Thank you for the, the giant glowing healing field of death. Give me that gun. Give me that gun. Give me that goddamn gun. Give me that fucking gun. Yes! Mine. Big ass yellow gun. Who fucking wants some? Mate, you. Fuck yeah. I love Kool Aid. Oh my How much time will you give me to escape? Oh, okay, I didn't fight. Remember, 
even if I don't kill them, they will die in the explosion. So technically, they are my kills. That one needed to die, though. So you might, like, think... Wait, I remember this direction. Does that mean that guy you pushed down that giant meat grinder is back again? And the answer is, yes, it does. The guy I pushed down that giant meat grinder climbed up for a third time. Presumably when he heard the explosion. He's like, oh, I can escape. Maybe Master Chief will save me. Master Chief will not save him. I don't even need to do this. Like, right? everyone's running away. So no one tries to fight you during this part, except for the very, very last bit of the level. Because they obviously all hear that the explosion's been out too. Oh, it's not, it's just not your fucking day, mate. Come on. You know, you know where you belong, and it's in the fucking trash. Get in there. Get in there. Thank you. Also, I think you might need a friend, so. Send him a friend now. At the very least, you can have someone to like, talk to while he's down there. What? You're being much less cooperative. There we go. I'd send him down as well, but I ain't got time. Because, you know, there is a bomb coming. Speaking of which, the giant bomb coming. Thanks, Cortana. It's really good. I, w I wanted a conversation with you today. It's not like I'm going to immediately die the second I walk out of this room. It's like it's full of people who want to kill me. It's not like, you know, chinwag. You should not move that shield. That was a bad idea. So I could fight these guys, but I could just leave as well. Bye. No. Oh. Bye. They're all dead now. They're all gone. That sounds like the same voice as human. It probably is, to be fair. So I'm assuming when they say we need a guy to voice a monster creature, they look in their roller decks, and there's probably like three names in there, and one of them is just this dude that says, oh, he works on Halo 3, let's get him. And they say, oh, he works on Halo 4, we better not. This place will become your tomb. Thanks, Cortana. It's really nice to give me, like, you know, voiceover dialogue. I appreciate you, like, going all the way through the game. The game where they say you're not with Cortana, because she's not physically in your head. They decide, you know, you're going to have flashbacks from Cortana, so she's just in your head the entire time. That's the second level. Boom.